بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم این السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ ٹو سی یو بیک اینڈ وی آر بیک ود کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ از بزنس اینڈ پبلک پالیسی ناؤ اٹ ایز لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمن وی آر سینگ دیٹ دی ٹوینٹی فرسٹ سینچری از بیسکلی ڈومینیٹڈ بائی دا پرائیویٹ سیکٹر بائی بزنس بائی اکانمی بائی اکنامکس اینڈ موسٹ امپارٹنٹ بائی سپلائی اینڈ ڈیمانڈ ناؤ اٹ ایز وی آر سینگ دیٹ دیر از a global furor which is going on especially in the post covid scenario after the covid what we have seen is that businesses have been drastically affected and covid has created many fissures and many issues and many problems which has resulted in the realignment and recalibration of business and of public policy now both of these two very important elements have to go hand in glove have to be dovetailed together because business without public policy or public policy without business cannot make an impact ladies and gentlemen uh, the world is at a juncture where there is great need and uh, a great desire that business and public policy should be coherent should be harmonized should be synchronized and should be able to proceed together in such a way that the economy is optimized and the quality of life can be improved for all of the stakeholders when we are talking about business then again we can understand that there are many implications many complications and uh, many dimensions of how it can be done in a better way for the betterment of all and when we are talking about public policy then we are talking about the intrusion of government with business and how the government can act as a facilitator as a regulator and as an optimizer whereby businesses can be more lucrative whereby investment can come into national economies and especially the fact that businesses can flourish without unnecessary limitations constraints barriers or obstacles and that is what this whole relationship is about now ladies and gentlemen when we are talking about uh, business then we are talking about a pluralistic system and we are talking about a uh, very high economic stakes uh, which are involved with all of this uh, it becomes very important that public policy tends to ensure that business in the short term in the medium term and in the long term can flourish now what we see is that public policy has to be made through a part- participative approach whereby businessmen are involved in the formulation of public policy and secondly what is very necessary is that the intrusion of government should not become so obsessive or so intrusive that businesses cannot tend to flourish and what we see is is that uh, there are different regimens such as tax uh, such as licensing such as different approvals uh, such as uh, different trade policies or financial policies all of them have a huge impact on how businesses tend to move forward and what we see in the context of pakistan is that again public policy tends to fluctuate from government to government and that makes it inconsistent there is a great need that public policy which is related to business there has to be a continuation there has to be a continuum whereby these businesses can move forward and can plan 10 years ahead 5 years ahead 3 years ahead and 1 year ahead and for that public policy is extremely important uh, another very important aspect is that uh, what we see is that businesses tend to uh, counterbalance uh, other social interests and again it is a very very important uh, stakeholder for government uh, it is the one which is providing the cash and finance impetus it is the one which is doing corporate social responsibility it is the one who are providing exports and therefore uh, and also imports but from exports basically uh, getting very uh, very very pertinent and high value dollars whereby the balance of payment uh, can be maintained uh, it is the biggest employer uh, for the citizens of a country and for pakistan in particular so all of these businesses are playing a very vital role whereby they are keeping the economy churning forward and providing opportunities to the majority of other stakeholders and citizens of pakistan and therefore 
the public policy has to be commensurate with the different global, regional, and national level uh, businesses which are taking place. Uh, now, again, it is very important that businesses should be involved. Uh, and again, when they are not involved, then they have its own implications because then wrong policies are formulated, which can drastically affect, uh, negatively affect uh, the, the economy. We also have to see that uh, these same businesses also tend to promote different political interests and therefore they are involved in lobbying and that also has to be uh, curtailed to a certain extent because when there is over lobbying then what we see is that it tends to permeate in the form of corruption, in the form of uh, adverse uh, business practices whereby we see that quality is compromised and again the rights of labor which is a very important stakeholder they are also sacrilege. So, it becomes very important that uh, the government and the business community go hand in glove and ensure that things are done in the right way according to laws, according to conventions, according to rules and regulations and according to best global practices to ensure that things uh, go in the right direction. Now, when we are uh, looking at it, uh, sometimes we see that businesses uh, tend to become too powerful or too big and therefore have a major domination uh, on, on politics and also the fact that when business risks uh, are not properly mitigated, then they also have a adverse effect on politics and therefore it becomes very important to ensure uh, that again things are done and regulated in the best po possible way through a coherent, through a dynamic and through a inclusive holistic public policy for the betterment of all stakeholders and in particular business. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we can see that there can be different levels of involvement. Uh, there can be financial involvement and in that uh, there could be uh, a political uh, action committee which can be done and then we have a very, very important stakeholder which are the different trade associations. For example, uh, we see uh, that the major industrial cities like Lahore has the Lahore Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, like Karachi has the Karachi Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Rawalpindi Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Sialkot Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So, every major cluster area has its own chambers of commerce and industry. Then there are uh, institutions like EPTAMA, the All Pakistan Textile Manufacturing Association. Uh, there are uh, different uh, associations related uh, to different sectors uh, of the business. Uh, and then uh, we also have uh, the supra body which is called the FPCCI, the Federation of Pakistan Chamber of Commerce and Industries. So, all of these are very, very important environment and they have different financial interests and they ensure uh, that uh, they tend to provide the right feedback and uh, the right uh, data so that government can make better policy. Then there can be organizational involvement and that could be uh, lobbying whereby there are certain interest groups. For example, in Pakistan we have a sugar lobby, we have a wheat lobby, we have a cement lobby, uh, we have an automobile lobby. So, these are different lobbies uh, which tend to influence uh, public policy. Uh, and then lastly, it is very important that there should be a strategic public policy involvement and the public policy should be at a strategic level and not at a tactical level. Uh, it is important that the government provides uh, a, a catalyzer, provides impetus, provides energy for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years and that is extremely important so that all of this gets together. So, the financial involvement, the organizational involvement and the strategic context are very important components of public policy which should, like I mentioned earlier, facilitate businesses should facilitate the economy and ensure that the rights of all stakeholders uh, are protected. Uh, no right is encroached, no right is infringed and there should be an equitable approach uh, towards public policy which would at uh, the end uh, as an objective tend to promote business within uh, a country, within a region and also at a global level. Thank you so much.